Hey, me, Matt here. So, just finished watching Resurgence, which was, I believe, in Los Angeles. It was a in a promotional pay per view, I believe. It was New Japan Pro Wrestling, but you had some wrestlers from Impact and Ring of Honor, and it was a really good show. Like, I really enjoyed it. Very exciting, in my opinion, and yeah. Very cool to watch. So, I mean, let's get to it. I think it's going to be a great review. Now, the pre show I did not watch, but a six man tag team match Barrett Brown, Mysterioso, and Bateman. Wow. Defeated Jordan Clearwater, DKC, and Kevin Knight. Then we started this show off a very good match. Carl Fredericks defeating Alex Coughlin and very good because Alex is a good wrestler but Carl definitely was the better of the two I think you know and putting him in the STF after I can't remember what move that was it was right after during the STF but he didn't get it then but eventually beating Alex and yep, they shook hands after the fact and Carl celebrated in the ring. But this was a very, very cool match. I hope that I get to see those two in the ring at some point. I don't know if I've seen them before, although I may have. I know I've heard of Carl Fredericks, so. Another six man tag match TJP Clark Connors and Ren Narita defeating Fred Ross, Rocky Romero, and Wheeler Yuta. So you got Impact's TJP and AW's Wheeler Yuta and Rocky Romero. Fred Rosser and Ren Narita, I don't know. I don't think I've seen them wrestle before. But this was a really good match as well. I mean, these guys really beat the shit out of each other. And Wheeler Yuta was always impressive to me. It's actually so as Rocky Romero. TJP, I guess, is kind of growing on me a little bit. But anyways, yeah, this was a pretty good match. You have a 10-man take match. You've got Leo Rush, Freddie A.I., Yuya, Yumura, Adrian Guest, and Chris Dickinson, who defeated Team Filthy, which was Tom Lawler, Jaya Kratos, Danny Limelight, Joel Nelson, and Royce Isaacs. Royce Isaacs. Yeah, I haven't heard that name in a while, but this was a good match too. And really just interesting moves that we really haven't seen before, high flying wise, and it was unique in my opinion. Leo Rush was really impressive as well. Now I did watch him at Championship Wrestling from Hollywood recently. I mean, it was probably an episode from like two years ago or last year, but, well, yeah, anyways, and then of course, Freddy Ahai, who just, yeah, Freddy Ahai, who just wrestled in the Pure Tournament for Ring of Honor, but yeah, this was a pretty cool match, and Leo Rush and Freddy Ahai, you, yeah, Yumura, Adrian Quest, and Chris Dickinson won, and they did like a pose down, so that was pretty cool. You have Juice Robinson, who defeated Yakaleo. Yakaleo was in AEW two weeks ago, wrestling Lance Archer. And yeah, that was pretty cool. And I mean, we'll get to Lance in a second, but I, this was a really good match. I kind of thought that Hikaleo was going to win, but Juice Robinson pulled it off and I mean, they both fought back and forth, and 
kind of thought that Hikaleo was going to win, but yeah, Chief Swerpens in won this match, and yeah, very cool to see that, you know, and I don't see Juice in a lot of singles matches, but yeah, this was cool. This match I was looking forward to, Tamahiro Ishii the Stone Pitbull defeating Moose, which was kind of cool. You know, you look at the size difference, and I had no idea that Tomohiro was a few inches shorter than Moose, but this was pretty cool as well, and I mean, Moose really tried to dominate Tomohiro in the beginning, but somehow Tomohiro pulled it off and had defeated Moose, and very cool to see that in my opinion, you know, it's not every day that you get to see Moose have a match and lose to somebody that small, in my opinion. But there it is. It's a take team match. It has the Good Brothers who defeated John Moxley. And it was going to be a mystery partner, I guess. But thy enemy is thy friend, as they put it. And it was Yuji Nagata. Which was pretty cool. Now, obviously, the Good Brothers won this match, and it wasn't for no titles, but this was cool. I mean, John Moxley definitely still one of the best wrestlers now. This is probably the second time I've seen Yuji Nagata in the ring in a long time, so he was very good as well. But unfortunately for him, he lost this match. He's got Jay White who defeated David Finley to attain the Never Open Weight Championship and this match was also really good as promised. I mean, David Finley, who was also the take team partner to Juice Robinson, really tried to take down Jay White, tried to take the championship, but to no avail. Obviously, this went to Jay White. And yeah, David Finley, you would have thought was gonna beat him on this night, but there it is. The main event of the evening, the IWGP United States Championship, Lance Archer versus Hiroshi Tanahashi. And I'm a big fan of Tanahashi and I have been for a long time now. You know, I haven't, again, seen him wrestle in a long time, but this was... A really good match, you know, and again the size difference between the two. And Lance was really dominant in the first few minutes of this match, and somehow Tanahashi focused on his leg. Now this was having Lance have the referee get distracted while he goes over and takes the turnbuckle pad off a little big long turnbuckle pad, whatever. Puts a chair there, but of course, it backfires. Tanahashi puts him over, and Lance hits the chair, and Hiroshi gets the pen, becoming the new IWGP United States Champion. I was talking to Kyle, and he said, and it's kind of true, if they were going to do that, then why the fuck did they take the title off of John Moxley in the first place? Because there was really no need to do that if you were going to have the title go to Tanahashi. Because originally, I thought it was going to be Tanahashi versus Moxley, but that wasn't the case. So, I mean, that kind of fucking sucks in a way, but, you know, kind of thought that... Lance Archer was going to win. I mean, he did the block out. You know, he attempted it. Didn't work, but he did it again. And, yeah. This was still a good match. And, well, the WGP United States Championship is back where it belongs, I guess. But anyways. Yeah, that was Resurgence. Which I had no idea that it was a New Japan... I guess American crossover. 
for many, many, many years. But there it is. My first resurgence review, I guess. But anyways, talk to you later. Bye. Oh, yeah. So you know that them cutting WCW was a long time coming. But, you know, I think that there's this myth out there that Jamie Kelly is not really. That's why he you know, took pleasure in cutting WCW. I don't think that's the case at all. I mean, you look at some of his earlier interviews, it's 